mindset of success. Do you want to be successful? Well, your mindset has to be oriented for success before you can experience any success whatsoever. So how do you do that? Today, I'm going to give you my top five mindset shifts that highly successful and happy people have. These five things, if you can embrace even one of them after hearing about it with me here today, you will start to change the trajectory of your life. You will feel yourself shifting towards success. So I want you to get a pen and some paper, write down these five things, and then pick one of them to focus on. When you nail that one, then you can pick another one. I don't want you to have to think about all five at the same time, but write them down so you've got them, okay? If that sounds good to you, stick around. That's what we've got today. First, I want you to check to see if you're a subscriber here. And if not, please click the subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications when we drop videos like this to help you live a happier and more successful life. I'll be right back. Guild Coaching. More success, less stress. I've had a lot of success in my life. I'm very, very grateful for it. And a lot of other people have as well. There's one thing that all of us have in common that none of the people in our lives who don't celebrate success and don't experience success have. And that is the first thing that I want you to write down is develop a growth mindset. There are two primary mindsets that you can have. You can either have a growth mindset, which means that I can learn more and do more and achieve more, become more, or you have a fixed mindset. The fixed mindset says people like us were born like this, so we can only have this sort of thing. This is very, very important that you let go of the fixed mindset. You don't read or hear any fairy tales about people with a fixed mindset. The Cinderella story isn't that Cinderella lost everything and ended up having to be a, a housekeeper and died that way in the cinders next to the fireplace. No, there's a growth mindset built into that fanciful tale. It is, she lost everything, but she remained positive, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. She remained positive. She allowed herself to grab onto the hope of a happier future. She believed in a growth possibility instead of just a fixed possibility. This happened, my mom died, my dad remarried, he died, this woman's terrible, her kids are horrible, they hate me, I'm in this life of servitude. Oh, woe is me. No, it was, okay, this happened, this is reality, this happened, this is reality, yes, this is the person that I have, however, I aspire to more. That is a growth mindset. So develop a growth mindset. A lot of my clients, a lot of my mentees come to me so that they can learn how to develop a growth mindset. So if you need help with that, my contact information as always is in the description below and I welcome you to reach out to me. Number two, you have got to have an abundance mindset. Instead of a mindset of lack, you need to have a mindset of abundance. So here is an interesting example about someone who has a mindset of lack or deprivation, okay? So a friend, a very good friend of mine, who's normally very, very positive, uh, once said to me, yeah, we were going to um, buy the lottery uh, uh, jackpot was huge. And I was like, wouldn't it be fun to win that? Like just think about all the fun things, all the charitable things, everything that we could do with that. So we went to buy lottery tickets and I took out like 40 bucks and bought $40 worth of lottery tickets. And she was like, she bought like one and no, no problem with that. And I was like, why don't you just, you know, buy more? We'll have more numbers to, um, to play around with. And I actually did, did win a little bit, um, there and she did not, she was like, well, no, I mean, I just, I don't want to take more chances than I need. And that, you know, I have one number for me and one number for my husband. And I just don't, don't want to, to take chances away from other people. And I just looked at her and I said, well, that is a lack mindset. That's a deprivation mindset. There's more than enough abundance to go around. If I get 40 chances to win this money and you get one, I didn't take away your chances to win. You just didn't accept more. We do that a lot in our lives. We humans do that a lot in our lives. Oh, well, I really, really want this thing, but I can't afford it. Or, oh, wow, 
look at all these bills that have come. How am I going to pay them? Wow. How about this? That's a really, that's a really good example. Honestly, that might be a little bit more identifiable to you than the example of the lottery tickets. Oh no, look at all these bills. I know that my income is this much and my bills are this much. Most people would say, oh, what am I going to do? Deprivation, mindset of lack. A mindset of abundance says, I know that if the universe is giving me this amount of bills, that the universe has a plan for me to pay this amount of bills. So I am just so happy and grateful now for the abundance that I'm not yet mentally aware of, but I know is coming because I have the proof with the bills. And you might say, who is this crazy lady thanking, thanking the universe for her bills? Every time a bill comes in, thank you so much for this because you're showing me the abundance that I have in my life so that I can pay it. Yes, it's all abundance. Really make that shift because highly successful people have an abundant mindset. The third mindset that we embrace is failure. We embrace failure. Fail. I want you to write this down. F-A-I-L. Get your paper. Get a pen. I'm going to get a thicker pen than the one that I had before. Get paper and, and write the word fail like this. F-A-I-L. And then finish the words. First attempt in learning. Without failure, we never get anywhere. We have to fail first. So embrace it. You don't set out to fail, but failures are the sign that you're on to something and you just haven't quite gotten there yet, but you're on to it. Failure is just the first attempt in learning. And this is your third mindset of highly successful people. And I suggest that you adopt it right now. Like rip that page out of your notebook and tape it to your refrigerator or whatever. Teach everyone in your life this. Because if you truly embrace this mindset, then everything will truly start to shift for you. You will see what you previously labeled as failures as momentary lessons, not setbacks, momentary lessons to help propel you into your next success. Number four, a lot of people who say that they want success, but never taste that sweet victory of success, have short-term goals. They haven't developed a long-term vision. Both are important. So what I want you to write down is long-term vision with short-term goals. You need to have long-term goals. Like where do you want to be in five years? Okay. And then you figure out all the steps to get there backwards so that then you have the short-term goals to get along that path. It's like the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy traveling along the yellow brick road. She meets her friend, the scarecrow. And how do they get to Oz? one step at a time along the road, but they set the long-term goal first, get to Oz and talk to the wizard. How do I get there? The munchkins first told Dorothy, follow the Yellow Brook Road. So in the old movie, uh, she goes to the very tip of the Yellow Brook Road, right where it's about to start. That always annoyed me as a little kid. I'm like, why don't you just go to the part that's farthest toward the exit? It made a better da dance number for her to start at the first. Um, first, uh, first little bit of the road. So she followed it and she walked along every single brick. She knew her long-term, her long-term vision. She had short-term goals. I'm going to take this step and this step and this step. And then she meets different things along the way, people, creatures, and they introduce different things to her. So she's able to shift her journey, but she still continues on that, on those steps. And spoiler alert, if you've never seen The Wizard of Oz, she does make it. She does get to talk to the wizard. She does get home because she had a long-term vision, long-term vision. All right. And number five, be optimistic. I'm not saying walk around with fake sunshine, like shining out of your face at all times, but believe that the universe always has your back. One of my favorite affirmations, I've recorded it on our YouTube channel for you. Um, if you just go to Guild Coaching's uh, playlist with recorded sessions and affirmations, it's everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. 30 minutes of that, just play it in the background. Get your subconscious to start to believe it. That is optimism. That means even if you're running terribly late, 
You may be getting saved from a horrible accident. This has actually happened to me. I was just a few minutes late. Had I been at this one particular intersection when I had planned to go through it, that's right when this horrible crash happened. So whatever it was that delayed me that day, and I teach time management, so I pretty much need to be on time, yeah. So I don't really like being late, but as I was going through everything that I needed to do to get out of my home, to get to the place I was trying to go, I reminded myself, you know what? I'm, I'm delayed right now, but everything's always working out for me. This is gonna be fine. Everything's always working out for me. When I got to that intersection, I was just praising and rejoicing. Thank you so much for saving me from that. Wow, what providence. Okay, so just in a quick review, number one, have a growth mindset, not a fixed mindset. Number two, we have abundance mindsets if we wanna be successful. Number three, embrace failure, first attempt in learning. Number four, have a long-term vision with short-term goals. And number five, embrace optimism, truly believe, remind yourself, repeat to yourself, everything is always working out for me because it is. And what's the proof? You found this video to help you have a better, more successful life. And isn't that what it's all about? If this has been of help to you, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't already, click subscribe and hit that little bell so that you'll get notifications when we drop videos like this just for you on YouTube so that you can have a happier and more successful life. See you next time.